there is no problem of cat slaves. The number of cats is normal. They are, are very necessary because Venice is a city built on water and there are a lot of mice. What's news, pussycats, in Venice? A cat crusade, that's the news, and it's all the work of two English ladies who've caused the biggest ripple on the Grand Canal since they introduced motorboats in Venice. The ladies' rallying cry is justice for cats. Their target, the stray cats of Venice, which is a teeming cat population of 35,000. But what's caused the fur to fly over the ladies' visit is the attitude of local cat lovers. The Venice Animal Protection Society said that if the two ladies as much as laid a finger on a Venetian cat, they'd call in the police. The society's president ringingly declared, we are not a British protectorate. The British ladies, however, armed with stiff upper lips, cat traps and cardboard pussy packs, were not put off. Miss Mabel Raymond Hawkins and her interpreter, Mrs Helena Sanders, a cat lover from Cornwall, who made up what Italian papers described as the British cat safari. One paper accused them of planning a Gestapo-type campaign for exterminating the cats of Venice. Their aim was simply to get rid of the city's sick cats and reduce the number of cats by sterilisation. The city's cemetery on the island of San Michele is the home of hundreds of stray cats. Miss Raymond Hawkins, who runs an animal welfare centre in Sussex, went to see their condition for herself. Miss Raymond Hawkins, couldn't this visit be construed as rather poking your nose in someone else's backyard? Well, all my life I have known that the cats of Venice are in uh, some sort of need and many friends who have visited here have uh, repeatedly asked me if I can't think about something on behalf of the cats of Venice and finally, last autumn, I was pressed by some friends to come over here and help them to do something. I don't think that's exactly interfering because I've come uh, in, at invitation, you see. Were you surprised at the furor that your visit aroused? Utterly astounded because we came so innocently at the request of friends to offer advice as to what we would do if we were in this predicament at home. Were you put off at all by the threats of the local animal protection society? Oh, no, of course we weren't. We had come to do something and we wanted to be helpful. It was quite ridiculous to resent our coming. Now, the, the image normally associated with somebody who would lead a cat crusade is perhaps of a pussy-loving old woman who cares more for cats than humans. Is this a fair picture? No, I deeply resent that because I have other interests other than animals and I just want justice and fair play for animals everywhere and particularly for the cats of Venice that needed our help. What do you actually want done for the cats of Venice? Well, it's obvious that there must be two or three stages. One is to eliminate the ill ones and the next is to reduce the number, preferably by sterilisation, so that there are a fair number of fit cats here and not a very large number of ailing and old ones. Now, looking around this cemetery with you at these cats, they look fairly healthy. Isn't it possible for a cat to be happy and free? Yes, I agree it is, if they are fed and if there is someone responsible for them to care for them in sickness and in illness. But these are unowned and may be currently fed, but their future is very precarious. Have you any gadgets for helping <coughs> catch these cats? Oh, yes. Uh, we, brought over, we flew over from England some weeks ago a trap to catch some that were uh, impaled. And uh, we brought a trap over with us, which we arranged its use yesterday for a number of cats that are in a compound and I've brought over quite a lot of my pussy packs which I personally designed and of which we've sold thousands in our own country and I've brought them over a whole number here which they can use to carry the cats from wherever they are picked up to the veterinary surgeon. One pack of strays is in prison on a roof outside the flat of an 80 year old supporter of Miss Raymond Hawkins. Her regular feeding of them only increases their number. Miss Raymond Hawkins optimistically left a cat trap to dispose of them. Then the ladies went off to see more supporters. They have £600 raised in England to finance local recruits for their Help the Stray movement. A lot more than just washing comes out of the windows in Venice. Canals are useful dustbins and a handy place to dump unwanted cats. And cats actually outnumber mice in the city. Venice cat lovers were warned of the English invaders by the city's Animal Protection Society. 
Fenny's cats were not stray, but private property, was the attitude of the society leaders. Its president, Giulio Silvan, said the ladies could be imprisoned if they interfered with Venice cats. Its lawyer, Umberto Corrado, put its case. The cat of Venice have always been popular with the people of Venice because of their history. In the 14th century, they got rid of the mice during the Great Plague when three ships brought back the cats from Syria. Since then, the people of Venice have loved cats. Do you agree that there is a problem of cats in Venice? No. There is no problem of cats in Venice. The number of cats is normal. They are, are very necessary because Venice is a city built on water, and there are a lot of mice. Traditionally, besides cats, the Venetians love pigeons. On the whole, the pigeons seem to do better. In St Mark's Square, anyway, cats are out. The food is strictly for the birds, provided regularly at 9 and 2 o'clock. Crusaders like Miss Raymond Hawkins give the lie to the Italian who gleefully thought that RSPCA meant Royal Society for the Promotion of Cruelty to Animals. But how successful has her highly publicised visit been? Oh, marvellously satisfactory in that we've got them talking about sterilisation and undoubtedly have urged them to uh, accept that there's a problem, to discuss the problem among themselves, even quarrel among themselves, but at least it will force them to be doing something, and we feel that we've achieved very largely our object. The two English ladies should uh, have got in touch with the Society for the Protection of Animals in Venice before putting forward their proposals. Kids are vital to the life of Venice. Nothing extra will be done because of ladies' visit. Miss Hawkins has certainly achieved one thing for the cats of Venice. She's got them publicity. But whether the, the movement she started for the strays is strong enough to carry on is less certain. The general attitude here seems to be to let sleeping cats lie. As one Italian said to me, Italians treat their cats badly, but they treat them no worse than they do their patients in hospitals. Well, I for one say three cheers for the RSPCA and the National Health Service.